In case I get that. Okay. And then once we get the five, I want you jumping up and clapping and going crazy. So two. So we are very lucky to have the cast right here for you, and you get to ask questions. Uh, it can be anything. It can be game, uh, show related, or it can just be everyday questions that you ask anyone, at work or at home. Um, so as we get started, let's go down the line and introduce ourselves. Hello, I'm Daenerys Targaryen, your future queen and your current BFF. <laughs> and, uh, I'm Cersei Lannister. I know everything about families. How to get along with them, how not to get along with them, how to raise children, how to get your way. Always. <laughs> I'm the hound. I don't know why I fucking agreed to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jon Snow. I recently found out my real name was Eamon Targaryen, but I'm still going by Jon for now. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sansa Stark, and I'm Lady of Winterfell and future Queen of the North. Surprise! <laughs> I'm Sir Jamie Lannister, and I fight for the living. Alright, thank you. Let's ask everyone This is where you come in. Go ahead. Let's ask the experts. Don't be afraid. We know we're better than you, but ask it anyway. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I have been helping my 83-year-old mother work uh, with Windows 10 on her home computer, and she's confused. Um, do you have any suggestions for uh, helping an old person understand Windows 10? I might have something for you there. I am actually a, a big fan of the problems that Windows... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I would recommend you... Uh, uh, position the problem on uh, a ledge several stories high, apply <laughs> a bit of elbow grease, and then go back to whatever <laughs> normal thing you were doing. <laughs> In the battle against Windows 10, you need allies. Strong allies. Seek them. <laughs> seek them out. Leave the computer and seek them out. I don't trust Windows. I never have, and especially now that my brother, who's disappointed me in so many ways, is advocating for it. I suggest you switch her to a Macintosh. <laughs> if she's having a problem with the fucking Windows, tell the old cunt to use a door. <laughs> reminds me of that which I experienced with Cal Drogo. I felt very out of control at first, but then I took control with my womanly wiles, just in the same way you can do with your 88-year-old mother. <laughs> Put your hand over her hand, over the mouse, and show her the way it is done. <laughs> Please, spe make sure to spend time with your mother, because you never know when an evil <laughs> Mac user may come and kill her, and your brother, and his wife, and their own child. <laughs> Thank you. Any question? What do you recommend? A 15 year variable, a 30 year fixed mortgage? <laughs> I recommend. <laughs> I recommend oh, uh, living in a house that your family and their ancestors have lived in for centuries and centuries and centuries, preferably with a large tree in the backyard. <laughs> well, 
I almost agree with Sansa on this one. I recommend a mountain of dragon glass and a great deal of money and the ruthlessness to do whatever it takes to keep it all. <laughs> Wherever you're at, the key is conquering your landlord. <laughs> <laughs> Who fucking cares? We're all going to die. <laughs> I find that you should base your mortgage uh, uh, according to how much gold is left in the gold mines. Now, in my case, it's zero. <laughs> I would recommend a fixed zero year more. What's your favorite kind of wine? Wine that isn't poisoned. <laughs> you may think uh, a woman of my tastes would have a haughty favorite kind of wine, but my favorite is actually Franzia because I am a woman of the people and I will serve you well as your queen in room. <laughs> I find it's more about uh, the situation that you're in. Uh, wine, for me, tastes best after I have knighted a giant, beautiful woman. The one that's in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> women of the North, unlike women of the South, prefer hearty ales before a big battle. <laughs> one thing you don't hear much about in the night's watches <laughs> is much whining. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Let's do one more. What's your dream job? Sitting on the Iron Throne with my enemies vanquished and their blood spilled in front of me and my brother's head at my side. Not the rest of him, just his head. <laughs> I would agree to that to a certain extent. Although I will say, if it doesn't work out for me, I'll conquer everyone who wronged me and start a nonprofit. <laughs> when I took the black, I didn't expect to have a job after that. It was the only job that I thought I would have. And I think I was good at it. Others thought I was good at it. I was stabbed. The wall fell. I'd like to have that job back. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That's Targaryen, Daenerys Targaryen. 2020. <laughs> this next game is called Switch Interview. So we have the interviewer and interviewee. And I have suggestions that I got from you, and we will see how these interviews go. Brad's going to start here, and Peter's going to jump here. And, gentlemen, your first suggestion is God of Death. Well, welcome back. Uh, we have a very, very special treat for you today. The God of Death himself is with us. <laughs> hey, oh, don't worry, he's promised not to enact any deathings today. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me on the show. People are getting really shy about inviting me. They get very squeamish around the whole idea of death. I try to... Uh, I found you delightful! <laughs> Thank you! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the weather. Uh, the snow uh, is is quite adamant about being up here. <laughs> uh, we're actually even seeing tendrils coming further south. It's, it's it's winter. Who cares? It's winter. There's no need for a weather report. Yeah, Let's just get to sports. I disagree, <laughs> Jack. Uh. <laughs> Puppies. <laughs> Can I please touch it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll do anything. You can shackle me to the dungeon. Be careful, it's a dire wolf pup. <laughs> I would be honored to have this thing bite my if face. If you're up. not, <laughs> it will go for your throat. And I should be so lucky you keep. <laughs> <laughs> Makeup artist. And what to do about those pesky wells from chemical fires? <laughs> we have a brilliant makeup artist. Sally May, here to talk about covering up battle wounds. Have you recently 
recently been a part of a major battle. I know I have. <laughs> it happens more frequently than we would like. Often, when I am part of a major battle and get a chemical spill from, mm, let's say, some uh, wildfire, I start with a salve. Of course, a salve made of ice. <laughs> so good for the complexion. And it keeps you looking young. <laughs> Favorite vacation spot? We are here in Dorn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's Dorn. Look, the high garden, the vegetables. Wow, it is so beautiful. And uh, thank you for tuning into our Insta live stream. Yeah, we've yeah. got a lot of good stuff uh, planned for you today. Yeah. Hey, bro, just some of that sweet Dornish red, am I right? Oh, got a cask of it right here. Now, don't tell Elena. God rest her soul. I didn't take this from her private chambers, so... Classic oh. vacation move. <laughs> <laughs> Things not to say on a first date. <laughs> All right, now, this one has to go right. We need an heir. Mm. Now, what are the three things that I told you never to say on a first date? But they're true. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's called courtship. You do a lot of lying. <laughs> OK. Um, I definitely do not have chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> Number two? Um, Fuck other things a lot. Right. <laughs> and number three. Um, I don't not like you. Look, I just get those all out by seven o'clock and I don't know, hum a tune for her or something. It's I'm gonna screw up. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Dead white walkers. I, I don't understand how they weren't dead, and then, then they are dead. <laughs> uh, and they're not, not dead again. I think it's the physics! <laughs> right. Best way to train your dragon. Well, people, you got that dragon, you got it for the kids for Christmas, and now it was cute when you got it, now it's a little bigger, it's running all over the house, it already ate the dog, and you're not sure where the baby is. So we have here, John Snow, he's going to teach you how to train that dragon. All right, so the first thing you got to do is... Yeah, we got we brought a dragon for you. Confidently, they can smell uh, very well. And so you need to be confident. Start with something that makes you feel confident. For me, it's my ability to shuffle a 52-card deck. <laughs> <laughs> haircut. Uh, I haven't had a haircut. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they dragged you off of the street and into my struggling parlor. <laughs> ah, I don't see the point. Ah, but nah. The point is before I Pictures that are gonna blow the market's mind. <laughs> You're gonna look so great. Let me just. <laughs> After! <laughs> Podiatrist. Well, it takes a lot of statistical errors for a child to grow past the age of eight here, but it happens! <laughs> I turned 10 today. <laughs> Double digits. Do you know how lucky and rare you are? <laughs> I'm one of the few that survived the long winter. <laughs> Cowboy boots. Welcome back to how much do your shoes smell? <laughs> have you been in a battle recently? I have, my lady. And, um... Did you kill anything that was dead or have been already dead? I believe I did, my lady. Try taking off your shoe. I can't, my lady. It's going to smell really oh. bad because we're going to have to cut your leg off. <laughs> 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 